Welcome Mulberry friends. Today we're going to be doing a directed drawing um, and I'll be trying to do these once a week for you. Well actually I will be doing them once a week. Um, all you need is a piece of paper and a pencil and today my inspiration for doing my final piece of it, uh, not just the drawing part, but I was looking through a book and I found this story that maybe some of you are familiar with, Why Mosquitoes Buzz in People's Ears. And something I noticed it that the um, illustrators had outlined with this light blue color. And if you notice in this picture, this one looks like it's white, but if you're close to the picture, it's like this light blue outlining of the shapes. And here you can really see that light blue. And here it maybe looks white to you, but for me, when I'm looking at the book, it's this light blue. And I thought, oh, that's really interesting. It makes sort of things um, pop by having that that frame around these different shapes. So that's something that I incorporate into my picture. Today we're gonna do um, just some basic shapes. So if you first get your paper so that it's going up and down, okay, so that would be vertical, and we refer to that as landscape. So if you'll put your paper in that landscape position, all right, and I'm gonna show you something that is kind of my final um, that I'm still working on. Let me just move this and here. So this one here, if you can see on yours, um, how I've outlined here with the blue paint around everything to kind of give that same effect that uh, the illustrators of this book did. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna take this one down. I'm gonna have just a plain piece of paper. You guys have your paper. And remember, as you're going along, you don't need to worry about erasing because each of those little sketches you do is worth keeping. And when I did mine, there were certain pieces of my picture and I thought, oh, I don't like how that flower turned out or that petal turned out. But I just thought, oop, you know, in, in art, we kind of refer to that happy accident. And I said, well, I'm just gonna keep it and I'm gonna keep working with it and working with it. Instead of getting a new sheet of paper and a new sheet of paper, I just kept working with it. The other thing that I noticed is that that um, base that it's in looks a little wonky to me, but I thought, well, you know, it's sort of abstract. It's okay. Um, I'm just gonna keep going with it. So let's take a look at our position of our paper. Right here, remember we have this landscape position and I wanna kind of figure out where am I gonna block out? because I want to have a flower and then a flower and a flower. And I'm doing three because in art, oftentimes um, our, when we look at art, we want to see things that are in threes or fives in bunches that are odd numbers, not even numbers. So I'm just going to put a little mark maybe right here. That'll be the center of one flower. And then over here, I'll put another dot that holds the place for another flower. And so I've got one, two, and then I'm gonna come over here and just have this so that it's off kilter, all right? So it's not, they're not all lined up exactly. So I've got one here, one over here, and then dropping down over this way. So that's kind of important. Now, when I think of this next step to do those petals, to place for those petals, I wanna think of that um, five points. So if I hold out my fingers and I've got those five points, I could have one, as the head and then two and three these would be my hands and then if I get these down further that's four and five are my feet so if I think of here's the, the center I'm gonna do here is like where the head would be and then coming out I've got an arm coming out here from the center another arm coming out okay and then if I come out here I've got a foot spread out and another foot spread out. So I've got one, two, three, four, five going around the center here. Here's my center here, okay? I'm gonna think about this being the head. So if that's the head, and then over here would be a hand coming out, and a foot, and another foot. And then look here, if I put this dot over here for another hand, it's gonna go behind this flower or this flower will behind this flower. So I've got a choice, but I'm gonna just kinda put it right there next to this one. And then I'll have to decide which one I'm gonna draw first and which flower will be behind, okay? 
Also, if you notice right here, I just sketched this up here really fast to remind myself, oh yeah, I've got to do that art lesson. So I put it on the chalkboard just to remind myself, oh, I've got a little lesson that I'll be, I'll be doing for the ch children. All right, now here's that other center. All right, so I'm gonna put a dot here for the head, the arm or hand, another hand and a foot and another foot. Okay. I want to make almost like a triangle shape, okay, from here to here. I want to go up as a triangle going outside of that dot, and then I'm going to kind of do a wiggly line around it. So just watch me here. If I come right here and go up and around that dot, and then come back in at a diagonal, that's one petal. All right. I've got this other one here, and remember, I'm gonna come up, and I wanna wiggle around it, and come back in. And it's almost like a piece of pie, it's a triangle. So in my mind, when I'm doing this, I wanna think, keep it a triangle, don't make straight lines, don't curve in, I'm gonna come, and I'm not even gonna have these two touch each other, but I'm gonna come out here, and wiggle around, and then back in. And it's really kind of fast, there's not, there's not a whole lot of, um, thought to where that's going. All right. Um, here we go. We've got another one here. This one's going to be in a little bit shorter. So I'm going to come out, wiggle, 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 back in. And notice that there's, I'm not really following so much. I'm just giving it as a guideline. So those dots are little guidelines. Here's another one right here. No, it's over here. That's right. Is that right? Sometimes gotta look at these. I'm trying to figure out, I've got one petal here, and that was the head, so maybe that was the petal. Once you get these little dots down, it can get confusing. So I'm gonna look at this one right here. I'm gonna come up and wiggle around it and come back in. One, two, three, four. I wanna have five, so I'll go around here. All right, but it looks a little bit off. It doesn't matter because I'm going to fill this in later. All right. This one here, this flower, there's the center and there's the head. I know I want this one to be in front and this one to be in back. Okay. So since I've drew this one all the way first, I've got to remember where am I going to be cutting through? I don't want to overlap. If I had a pencil, I could overlap and erase. But since I have a pen right now, I'm going to come up because I can come up here and wiggle around and stop there, pick up and draw back. So here I go, around, 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 and then draw back in. There's one petal. Here's that other shape right there, or dot. I'll go up and I'll wiggle around, come back in. All right. Remember that little dot that's holding that spot? So most of this petal right here is behind this petal. So I'm gonna come up as if I were to go to it and stop. Maybe I can drag through and go like that as if it was gonna wrap around. And then maybe here it's gonna pick up and come in, all right. Now I've got spots for two more. So I'll take this, remember that pie shape. And one more here. And I'm not trying to make these real sharp edges or anything. I'm just kind of winging it. All right. My dot here, remember, is inside this flower. So when I come out, I want this flower to be in front, this flower to be behind. So I'm going to come up. And remember, if I were to continue, I'd go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then it would come around to there. All right. Same with the next one. It comes up and it hits there. But then I can wiggle, all right, and you see that it's just a little bit behind that one. Next, right there, so I'm going to do that pie shape, wiggle around it. I've got one right here, come up like a pie shape, wiggle curvy lines around it, and there's one more. Out curvy line. All right. These are going to have some stems coming down. But before I do my stems, I want to think about that vase. 
And because these are so big, I could even have that base off the page. So it's breaking, we call that breaking the edge. Right here, I drew it so that the vase is right there at the edge. But because these flowers are so much space up here, I might not have enough room to put my whole vase, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is a curve line and another curve line. That's pretty simple. I just make a curve here and then a curve here. That's gonna be that open part of the vase. All right, now I want my vase to come in. And you can do a vase any way you like, but this is just, remember, this is all just giving you some techniques, some ideas. You can do it any way you like. I'm gonna come in and just kind of draw a line that way and a line that way. And now, as I look at this, if I were to draw this little tiny bowl there, it would look really off. And it's already kind of looking off, isn't it? This should be, this looks like it should be a lot bigger to hold on to all these flowers. So it's almost abstract. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw this and I'm gonna make this side a little bigger. All right. I still have to add in my stems that come in. At the same time, I have to look at, this is all floating in space and I wanna anchor it. So I'm gonna put a line running back here that gives you the illusion that it's sitting on a table. I don't wanna draw through my vase. So I'm gonna come over here and maybe my table is right here and then over to that side and just draw across. All right, they still look like they're floating. So I gotta figure out how do I wanna have these um, stems coming in. So if I were to have a stem coming from there and it came into here, I don't wanna draw it through my petal, so I'm gonna draw my, drag my pen, pen across until I get just to there and bring it in. And this one here would probably have its petal right from there and it's gonna come down but I'm gonna to have to pick up when I get to there. See that little area? And then if I want it to be a little bit more realistic, I'll pick it up and then here and bring it down in there. And then because they, they curve a little bit, don't they? Like petals, the, the stem, because the petals are pulling, the flowers pulling it down, they're gonna curve a little bit. This one's kind of standing a little bit more straight. But this one, maybe I want it to come as if the, the stem were curving this way. So remember, I'm gonna go from here, and then when I get about here, I'm gonna have this one curve in like that. That's basically all I need at this point, okay? Now, for the coloring part, you can do that with crayons, colored pencils. If you have watercolor, um, you have markers, whatever, uh, or just leave it like this. And of course, sign your name. So I'll go ahead and put my name on here. My name and date, oftentimes artists will put their name and date down in the right-hand corner. So I could put, I'll just put JQ for now. And the date is, let's see, is it six? What's the date? Is it, let me see on my calendar. Oh, 16, 616, and I'll put 2020. So now I have a little date there. All right, that's about it for doing those simple kind of pictures. As far as coloring or adding other kinds of things in it, if you look at this picture here, it looks a little bit different than the one that you're seeing that I started because I decided I was gonna add some extra stuff. I mixed, I had acrylic paints and I don't have really expensive acrylic paints. I have some kind of cheapo or watercolor or crayon um, I went ahead and I mixed a little bit of white and pink here. I mixed a little bit of orange and white with this one and yellow and white here. And then I put that aside and I washed my brushes out. Next, I painted all the way around with a skinny brush. I painted the blue all the way around when these dried a bit. So I just went all the way around and high, kind of like make it stand out by giving that outline of that light blue. And I did it all the way around everything. And then I thought, what am I gonna do next? Well, I had some leftover. I poured too much. P 
pink and white. So I thought, well, I had this really dark pink and I had the white, so I blended them together and I painted across here. And then I thought, okay, I've got a lot more pink. Maybe I'll add some texture in there and I'll put these little like circles. So I did pink circles. I had a whole lot left of some of my colors. The blue background, I had a lot of blue and I had a lot of this magenta. So I mixed them together and I got this nice eggplant color because I don't really like to waste colors. I like to use up everything on my palette because it dries pretty fast. So I got this really nice eggplant. I thought, oh, that's a cool color. So once I was done with that, I thought, well, there's still a little bit left. Maybe I'll put some circles up here or dots. All right, so these are circles and these are big giant dots. Later, I looked at it and I thought, okay, I've still got some white left over. So I made some little designs here. And I also went around these purple dots and I added just a little line of white and a little line of white in there. And then I went in here and I made on the inside a little wiggly white in there, there, and there. And with the pink, I added some dots inside. I also used a little pink and white and just did some little stripes along the petals. That blue background. I'm still looking at this thinking I've, there's a lot more that I want to do with it. I've left this white right here, but I don't like that. So I'm going to somehow come in and, and do something else with that. So this is a work in progress. Um, if I finish working on it or if I just leave it aside, I'm not sure. If I get a chance to finish it, I'll uh, put it up next week before we start. I'd love to see what you guys do with your art. And thank you for spending this time with me. Um, if you have any, any remarks, I think there's a way to do that, uh, to make comments on our Mulberry uh, YouTube channel here. If not, Daniela can always let us know. I can ask her. Okay, happy drawing and I'll see you later. Thank you.